Hey amigos, Carlos Costa for Beard Brand. I uh, hope you're well. Today I'm going to talk about 10 ways to destroy your beard. These 10 facts I'm going to talk about are based on personal experience and because I spend a lot of time at the barbershop filming the barbershop series I get to meet a lot of people and talk about beards a lot. These might not apply for everyone in the world with beards, but I'm pretty sure it applies to most of us guys wearing beards. First way to destroy your beard, washing it with regular shampoo and conditioner and most soaps out there. It uh, doesn't work. Actually what it does, it dries your beard out even more makes it uh, brittle and gives you dry skin. Uh, I'm saying that because that's what I experienced as a few other guys said the same thing. Uh, it was designed for this top area, hair area is totally different. Also the skin on our face is different from the skin on, on our head. Use beard wash and conditioner which was designed for your beard. Second way to destroy your beard not using enough beard oil. Man, um, I use beard oil three times a day, four times a day, depends. Um, but I went through the process of neglecting the beard oil. I mean, beard oil, you can use like a, a balm that is also a moisturizer for your skin and hair, your beard. Um, so I, I went a little while like just putting it in the morning so I would shower put my beard oil and then dry my beard and that was it but I found it throughout the day my beard would be really dry and I was trying to comb it was pulling and getting really hard to comb so I went back to the way of moisturizing the beard um, Whatever you use, just make sure you moisturize it at least, I would say between two to three times at least, if not more. Way number three, um, blow drying it. I mean, blow, blow, blow drying is not bad, it's just blow drying it wrong. That is bad. Uh, I know not everyone blows dry their beer, I do. Um, and I made a mistake for so, so long. Uh, which was, I was blow drying it, one, with a lot of heat uh, and clothes. Also, was running the comb through it I was, I, as I was blow drying it. That, what that was doing was actually stretching my beard and making my beard look so thin and see-through uh, that I kept trimming but I kept doing that and it was getting like thin so quickly so I was actually making my beard look thinner and stretching the hair so the hair wouldn't like uh, go into the back into the position as it is now and look full so if you blow dry your beard one use me medium heat to low and from a distance you don't need to like do it right there. The way, the fourth way of destroying your beard. Man, I, I, I never tried this one, but uh, a few guys I spoke with have, and I've seen a few videos around. Um, using hair straighteners. Wow, man. Uh, I don't know if you can use it right, I suppose, but surely that's going to damage even more than a blow dryer in. Uh, high heat so I can't see that I don't I don't know from personal experience but other people saying that actually destroys your hair uh, it dries it out I've heard guys saying that actually they because maybe they didn't know how to use it properly they left it maybe too long and they s s s um, pulled burned the hair so they ruin their mustaches. Uh, I, I just can't see that working really. 
you can't be healthy for your beard. Uh, it's just going to burn your hair, dry out, make it look horrible and dry. So the fifth way to destroy your beard, and I'm very guilty of this one, picking, picking your beard. It's just habits. It's a comfort thing we guys get having our beards. But if you picking, pulling, no, it's just going to create a gap. It's um, hair is going to stop growing in those areas and you're going to have some patches. Uh, it's not cool. Uh, like I said, I'm very guilty and I try really hard to stop and I have to stop. Um, I even got my fiance to slap me if she sees me doing it. Slap my hand, obviously. Um, but I'm finding it hard, but I am going to fight through it and not doing it because it's creating a little patch here. And um, I really want to have a cool mustache. So the sixth way to destroy your beard is never trimming it. Why would you not trim your beard, even though you're growing it very long? It just don't look right. Um, when I had long beard, um, as I said before, I blow drying and looking thin. That was, that was one of the mistakes. But even though if I didn't trim it for a while, it would have like split ends and would grow in weird angles. So if it's long or short, you need to trim your beard once in a while to get rid of those split ends and, 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 and ruined hairs. It will always look healthier and sharper. And to be honest, if you only trim it a tiny bit, it will just help it grow because of the split ends. So you just get rid of those split ends and actually help the breed keep on keeping on growing. Well, the seventh way of destroying your beard, using the wrong tools, using the wrong uh, beard combs and beard brushes. So yeah, stuff like these um, cheap combs you buy, these are not designed for your beard, this is for your hair. Um, if it's your barber that's got a nice comb that, it, you know, that was designed for barbers, fair enough. But those cheap combs you buy, these are not good enough. They, like these, um, these brushes, like this one is from my sister, so I'm just gonna give it back to her because it's no good for my hair, for my beard. Uh, why would I use it? Um, yeah, so don't use the wrong tools. Just make sure you get something who was designed for your facial hair, for your beard. Um, there's a lot of beard combs out there and beard brushes, uh, stuff like this. This was designed for beard. So this is what we should be using for our facial hair. Spores bristle brush. Uh, Acetate combs, also designed for your beard and moustache. This is what we should be using. Um, the only thing I use, which is like a weird brush, is this one. And this is only used when washing my beard. So I use it in the shower. And I use it when I put my beard wash. And when I'm taking the, the wash off, so I brush it to get rid of the dead skin underneath. Uh, this is the only reason why I use something like that. Just to help me clean my skin underneath my beard. And then condition it. You massage it. It's just going to make your skin look healthier. And your beard. Um, but as I was saying, just make sure to use the right tools. The eighth way to destroy your beard. Uh, <laughs> this is um, also personal experience and it's, it's kind of a, the way of look. Um, right, so shaving or trimming too deep into your leg line, like underneath, just going too deep here. So when you go deep in there, um, it just looks like you got a hole and like, separates your beard from your neck and when you look from the sides just looks like you got a big gap in there like you got a fake beard kind of thing that's the and I've, I've had that mistake and uh, then to me and you know so avoid that don't don't shave into deep there if you are you should keep 
your neck uh, line with these. Uh, you should grow all this the same length as that. And when you do go, decide to go further up, like I am right now, although I've not shaved the neck, I've not had the trim, uh, things coming up for two weeks now. Don't go deep in there. Always ask for the line to be just right underneath where the hair starts, further down, just uh, fade it in and that will look sharp. Ninth way to destroy your beard, um, not coming enough throughout the day. Um, you come here when you, in the morning when you drive, but you need to comb that beard a few more times throughout the day. Actually, every opportunity you have. I've, I think I mentioned this before in, pre in previous videos. Uh, you got two types of combs, right? You leave that one at home and you take this one with you wherever you work. I'm sure you got toilet breaks or even some people at work can just go and comb their beard. Don't be scared of good. As you need to moisturize a few times a day, you also need to comb in a few times a day. Especially if you, um, you got a nice mustache, you need to keep that guy combed, nice lined. And also this beard, just avoid, um, if it's nice and moisturized, you should just do this. Being able to run it through at ease. Don't neglect the combing. The 10th way to destroy your beard, 10th and last. Um, not washing enough or washing too much. Right, by that I mean, um, some guys go uh, a week without washing their beard and I know that because some of my friends do or did. <laughs> um, one week, man, I, I can only imagine what's in there. It's like, like a friend of mine, which uh, we had a conversation not long ago, I can see his like, beard dandruff coming out and he's, he, lo he don't look cool. It doesn't look cool when you touch your beard and you see it falling down. Um, I would not go that long. The, the max I go is three days without washing my beard. Uh, I, I appreciate there's guys out there who left to wash it every day, for example. I don't. And that's why I mean washing it too much. Um, you shouldn't watch. You, I, sh I shouldn't say shouldn't. <laughs> uh, it's tricky. But my personal experience is if I wash it every day, it gets rid of all the natural oils and it actually goes out of place. It doesn't look as, as nice and settled um, as much. So that's, that's like, I don't know, it's stripping your hair and skin of their natural oils. Um, it does, it's not good. And that's it folks. Um, I really hope these ways of destroying your beard help you not destroy your beard. I hope you seeing you making some of these mistakes. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and stay cool. Now that you're done with this video, head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.